Hello everyone, my name is Milan de Kuiper and I am presenting an automated MRI-based pipeline for glioma segmentation and prediction of grade IDH mutation and non-P19Q codeation. In the most recent WHO classification guidelines of glioma, there are three markers that play a central role. WHO grade, high grade for glioblastoma versus lower grade glioma, IDH mutation status, and for lower grade glioma, 1P19Q codeination. These markers are important for optimal therapy planning and prognosis. They are currently determined through tissue analysis after a biopsy or resection. However, these invasive procedures involve risks and biopsies have shown to negatively impact overall survival. Therefore, we propose a CNN pipeline to non-invasively segment glioma and predict these markers based on routine acquired pre-therapy MRI. So starting with segmentation, we trained a 3D unit that has input the four MRI modalities, T1, T1 contrast enhanced, T2 and flare, and has output the segmentation map denoting the different tissues being necrosis, enhancing tissue and edema. The network was trained on the BRADS 2019 training set and evaluated on the validation set through the online evaluation platform, obtaining an overall whole tumor die score of almost 90% which is very close to the top scoring algorithms in the leaderboard. We also applied random input channel dropout to increase robustness to missing modalities. And you can see that when only providing two MRI modalities at the input, there is only a minor decrease in performance. After segmentation, we use the obtained segmentation map to extract a square tumor region of interest, which is then fed into the multitask classification network. This is a residual architecture with nine convolutional layers, followed with an adaptive average pool and three fully connected layers, one for each task. The adaptive average pool allows to process any input ROI size. The network was trained on a public data set from the Cancer Imaging Archive and the BLOT 2019 data set. And in total, data from 628 patients were acquired, for which we have at least a preoperative T1 contrast enhanced together with the T2 and or flare sequence. The data set is split into a training validation and test set as shown on the slides. We opted for a multitask learning approach as the three tasks are very much related. Features learned for one task are appropriate for the other tasks as well. So this helps to reduce overfitting. Moreover, IDH status and 1P19Q co-deletion is not known for all patients. So we have quite some missing labels and Multitask learning allows us to train one neural network on all data instead of training separate networks for each task on a smaller data set. The 1P19Q task is also only trained for low grade glioma, as this marker is only considered for these patients in the WHO guidelines, and adding glioblastoma all 1P19Q intact would introduce a very large imbalance in the data set. Then we arrive at the results. First, the results on the TCIA test sets. You can see that the high accuracies are achieved for all three tasks. We also evaluated the entire pipeline on an independent test data set acquired at the Ghent University Hospital, within total data from 110 patients, from which 86 with known IDH status and 40 lower grade glioma patients with known omp 19 q status. You can see that the scores are close to the performance on the TCIA test sets. Uh, however, a difference in specificity is observed for IDH mutation. This is because IDH status was assessed through immunohistochemistry on the Ghent University Hospital data, which has a lower sensitivity compared to gene sequencing used on the TCIA data. So some of the IDH mutant cases might be missed, resulting in false positives of the network and thus a lower specificity. So in conclusion, we designed a non-invasive, accurate and fully automatic 3D CNN pipeline for glioma segmentation and prediction of clinically relevant markers. It is based on routinely acquired pre-therapy MRI and evaluation on an external independent test data sets shows robustness to variations in imaging protocols and the segmentation network is also robust to missing modalities. If you have more questions, you can read the paper or contact me Thank you for watching this presentation.